you see me catch a few fish, let me talk you through the tackle. Let's have a look at the business end first, just swing my rig in. Right, I'm using adrenaline float fish reel. Lovely and smooth, good line lay as well, that's really important for a smooth cast. And I really like this feature, it's on the reels. 2.6 pound line, so I know. It's just a little mark on the top of the spool that indicates all the weights I've got in my box. Then the rod, this is a beauty, IM9 Finesse. Lovely sweet carbon, and it's a compact design. It's actually 13 foot, but it breaks down into two six foot pieces, and you've got this little nifty unscrewable handle here, so it can break down into two parts. It's a great idea, safe having to fold it into three parts, especially for an angler like me that likes roaming around. I've already said I've got 2.6 pound line on. Now, it's float fish, drenched float fish, and I've treated it with washing up liquid just to make it sink even better, just to get underneath the surface scum and make sure I've got great float control. Then, if I swing in the float, now, for the distance I'm fishing, some of you may think that this waggler's a little bit big. For an RFAA, Peacock Waggler. Very buoyant, insert tip, so I can see fine bites. But I like heavy weight when I'm fishing still waters, so I can cast well out of the zone of where the fish are feeding. You don't want to be thrashing the water constantly. You hear your rod tip going, Shoo! that's all wrong. It should be all smooth and gentle, so you're well out of the area. That gives you a chance to bury the line as you draw it back into the zone. So there's my weights at the top, but the real important part here is a little float adapter. So if I have to, got to go further out, I can just pop that off and pop another one on. Dead simple. And no one hardly ever, I see so many pleasure anglers putting the float straight on the line. Always use the float adapter. Then my shotting pattern is maybe more associated to um, rivers. It's a shirt button style, but I find when I'm fishing on the drop, as I am here with Red Maggot, I find that it's a great way of presenting it naturally. It falls on a natural arc through the water. And I've already said a couple of times I'm on two pound, six pound line. And because we're in a lot of weed, because we're after fair sized fish, the perch you've seen we're catching nice fish, I'm using the Dren and Barbless Carp, and that's 18 to 2 12s. That's a tough model, and this is Barbless, and I find that really good for perch because they've got a real bony mouth, so it just penetrates into their mouth and stops you losing so many. So that's it, really. Nothing more complicated than that. As with all my rigs, nice and simple. It's all about finding the fish. Maggot on. Swing it out. And a nice, smooth, steady cast. And we're back fishing again. Feet of maggot. Here we go. Oh, nice fish. Go keep calm now. He's desperately trying to get rid of that hook. This is the danger point as he hits the surface. Flick of the head, loss of pressure, and it's out. Oh, probably a two pound fish. I tend to keep a long line when I go to net fish, so the pressure is minimised. See? It's not so much pressure. Don't have your rod tip cranked over. And in it comes. And that is a beauty. That's made my morning. Perch, I can assure you, don't come much better than waggler caught fish like that. Fantastic. Look at you. Oh dear, I'll never tire of them. <laughs>